study offers a dim view for the future of the coal strip power plants. That study comes from the University of Montana Bureau of Business. It suggests the four plants could be forced to shut down due to the Obama administration's clean power plan. If the plants close, the study says the impacts to Montana's economy would be huge, costing as many as 7,000 jobs and a loss of $500 million per year in wages. Northwestern Energy, Montana's largest utility, paid for that study. Now the EPA's new clean power rules require a 47 percent cut in carbon emissions in Montana, but supporters of the plan contend the U of M study overstates the potential effects. So it really is distorted, and I'm very concerned that the extreme level of the assumptions provided by Northwestern is driving uh, a result of uh, job loss and economic impact that has no basis in reality. Our, our primary finding is that the compliance as I've described uh, for the Montana economy, taking these actions to be compliant with the regulation, exerts a negative impact on the economy. And Montana's plan to meet those new clean power regulations is due next September. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, the House and Energy Commerce Committee followed the lead of the U.S. Senate on Wednesday as it approved two resolutions to undo those new power plant rules. The full House is set to take up those resolutions the same week at the United Nations Climate.